Welcome back to Modern Garage Barbecue. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're doing some country style ribs on the Yoda Wireless 640S. I'm also gonna show you to make an awesome honey bourbon sauce to glaze on top to make them glisten and your taste buds sing. Real simple, real tasty, and it's going down right now. You ready to do this? Let's go! All right, let's get going on our country style ribs. Country style ribs pretty much, it's not ribs at all. It's pretty much just chunks of pork butt. These are boneless, a little more than two pounds. What we're gonna do here is, just gonna hit it up with a little bit of regular yellow mustard. Get that all worked in here. You won't taste this mustard at all. You don't have to use anything for a bind. I'm just gonna give it a little shot here, a little whack of it. Get all that covered up there. One more there. Now we'll come back with a little bit of my, what's the buzz honey rub and my pit dust. I mix these here 50-50 into the shaker. This right has an awesome rub, the combination of the two. I'll leave the links to them down below in the description. Just wanna get these a nice dust in. Just wanna get all the sides covered up here. I'll get these finished up and I'll meet you out at the Yoda. All right, we got the Yoda running at about 280 right now. We're gonna go a little bit of upper deck cooking. I did let that sweat in probably for about 10 minutes or so. Rub's looking nice and glistening there. Get those right on. We'll shut this down. I'm gonna let this run probably for about an hour to an hour and a half, and I'll bring you back. All right, let's toss together our honey bourbon glaze. I'm gonna start off with a half a cup of honey. That all in there. Come back with a little bit of bourbon. Go for about a half a cup or so. Looking pretty good right there. Come back with uh, two or three tablespoons barbecue sauce. Use your favorite. Looking pretty good. Now we'll come in with a little bit of Dijon mustard. Maybe about two tablespoons or so. We'll give this a little stir. You can smell that bourbon right away, I'll tell you that right now. Next, we're gonna come in with about a tablespoon of molasses. Looking good right there. Now we got a quarter of a cup of ketchup. Get that all in there. We'll be coming back now with about three tablespoons roughly apple cider vinegar. It's looking good right there. Give it a little stir. Now a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Maybe a tablespoon, a little bit less. Hit it up with just a little bit of soy sauce. 
couple of teaspoons. That's looking good right there. Now we're gonna bring in a little bit of flavor, a little bit of heat. Not much though. A little bit of uh, garlic chili sauce. Maybe two teaspoons. A little bit of black pepper. I'm using a 16 mesh. This is all to your taste. A little bit of onion powder. A little wackatoo. And a little garlic powder. Same thing, give it a whack. We'll get this all stirred in together here. I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer. And I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, it's been about 10 minutes or so. Been simmering right along here. That's the consistency that I'm looking for. If you want it thicker, you can go longer. I'm just gonna give it a little taste here. That's perfect. You got sweet, got a little bit of heat from that chili sauce there. Definitely picking up that bourbon. Right now would be the time to take it to your taste buds. You want a little more sweet, put a little bit more honey in it. You want a little bit more bourbon, add a little splash or two. Entirely up to you, make it yours. What we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna shut this off, push it to the back, let it come together. All right, let's toss together our braising liquid. We're going with eight ounces of apple juice. One cup, that is. We'll come back with our honey bourbon sauce. Probably half a cup or so. Come back with a little bit of honey. One to two tablespoons. A little bit of brown sugar. Maybe a tablespoon. Just mix that all together. All right, we've been rolling for about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Let's take a nice peek here. Got some nice color going here. I did toss another little rack of ribs there. I'm messing around with a rub. I'm gonna try it out there. If it comes out pretty good, you'll see it on another video coming up. Just gonna get a quick internal. Around 167, 168, 170. I'm gonna pull these here. We'll get them off into a braising pan. All right, we got everything pulled. We're now gonna come back with our braising liquid that we whipped up. Just gonna get that tossed right in there. Come back with a couple Sheets of aluminum foil. Get that wrapped up. Double it up here. And now we'll get that back on the order. We're probably gonna let that go for probably about at least another half hour, 40 minutes or so. All right, it's been about a half hour total or so. I did check on them about 10 minutes ago. They were getting close. Let's watch out for steam. Shooting for the high 190s. Get a quick internal there. Maybe 384.
187, 188. I'm going to let these go a few more. And I'll bring it back when we're going to glaze them up. Alright, we got our ribs pulled. Pulled them at about a 195 internal. Just going to get them up on this little uh, grate here. Tell you what, it's freezing out here today. We're back in the 30s here. Go. Now we'll come back with our honey bourbon glaze. Just gonna hit them right up. We'll get the rest of these done up. All right, now we'll get them back on there. Looking pretty damn good, right? Maybe five minutes or so. Take a little peek here at our ribs. Oh man. Yeah, looking awesome. So a little ways to go there. We're gonna go no rap with those there. We're bringing it back when we plate them up. Right, we're back and we are plated up. Let's get you in for a little bit of a close-up here. Oh man. That glaze right there is shining. Damn. Let's do a quick little taste test here for you. We'll cut right into one. Oh man. Woo. That right there is off the hook that honey bourbon glaze you gotta give that one a shot this is the one right here that'll definitely rock out on some ribs this was a simple cook really no time at all to cook them a little bit over two hours total cooking time you can't beat that give that glaze sauce a shot on some rack of ribs do the same thing here Cut up yourself a little bit of a pork pot. Co cooks real quick. Make some pulled pork. Toss it on top. You're definitely going to want to try that glaze. These country style spare ribs are where it's at. Real simple, real tasty. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. <laughs>